Receiving the diagnosis was, well, it was gut-wrenching. The consultant was sat there in front of us and said, well, we've come to the conclusion it's early onset Alzheimer's. Um, and that were it. And I came home alone and I just sat here thinking, well, what happens now? What do I do? Prior to diagnosis, I was happy chappy, really doing a lot of activities and um, had the job. With the diagnosis now, I was expecting the level of looking after. Uh, I think it's pretty much non-existent. Yeah. People with dementia often tell us that when they get diagnosed, they come away with the idea that their life is over. How you're viewed as a person suddenly changes. You become invisible to a lot of people. There's nothing set into place where you can go and get information. It's just a very lonely place. And then, just by chance, I went to this group and it was full of people around my age who were living happily with dementia. Everybody supported one another and I could talk about things that were really bothering me. And that's when something just went, you're still alive, Gail. I mean, but for technology, I wouldn't be joining any groups. Thank you very much, but there is another thing that you could help me with. Yeah, situations that's so common when people to feel they've got to hide. My name is Liv. I'm the world's first artificial intelligence created with input from real people living with dementia. So at the moment, people living with dementia are receiving variable levels of care from people directly. Well, this project's a really exciting opportunity to try and harness emerging forms of artificial intelligence to make that kind of interaction far more accessible and to deliver it at a lower cost that it's their diaries, it's their experience, which is creating this artificial intelligence. You know, they've been involved in thinking about the kind of questions that they might have asked and the kind of answers that, that they would have found helpful. The people with dementia are the experts. We are the ones that's living with it. So we are the ones that can tell you what it's like, or not what it's like, um, and advise you and the more realistic it is, the more successful it'll be. If you go to the doctor, they can tell you something, they can give you medication. But people who live with dementia is the one that, you know, the, the one who can tell you exactly what they're going through. Can I find work maybe with my condition? Absolutely. Many people with dementia continue to work with some adjustments. It's helpful to have a conversation with your employer about your needs. Do you think that might help? Yeah, I think so. Is there a favourite hobby or comforting routine you'd like to pick again? Yes, I love to paint. Painting can be so soothing and a wonderful way to express yourself. The most amazing thing for me was I'd never painted before, and I'm so glad I did. It inspires other people as well, because they're seeing if I can do it, perhaps they can try it too. I think it will be a very useful tool, very useful, especially for people that are on their own. Everyone with dementia experiences things differently. And time and time again, people show us that there is a sense that life can be lived well, can be lived with hope, and people can retain a sense of agency and, crucially, retain their place at the human table. 
living well with dementia is to um, accept dementia how it is and to really work around it visualize what I wanted to do and I go and do it get through the the day it's something that we cherish it's very novel to use an avatar to allow people living with dementia and their carers to interact with the AI in a far more human way of course a lot of work remains to be done but this is a key step towards a society which is more inclusive where we're able to support people as they develop problems more effectively this is the last chapter so you have to make it the best chapter that there is just do the things that i want to do and love to do just because you've been diagnosed with dementia doesn't mean to say that you change instantly you're still that person i'm still gail i might have a few little tweaks and changes but i'm still me